Hey everyone, my name is Marco from My Color Screen and welcome to the place where you can recreate Android home screens that look really good on your phone without any trouble. Let us begin. Okay, now this video tutorial is long overdue and I'm sorry for that, but it took a while to set up. So here it is. It's Serenity by Toxic Thunder. Yes, it's that one. It's been doing very well on my color screen as well as our Facebook page. So why is everyone going crazy about this? Well, this three page setup is done fantastic. Starting off with your home page, it's got your time, your date information, it's got your battery information and it all looks really good and really neat as well as having quotes on each and one on each of the pages as well as a nice little user icon in the middle that changes from each page. And then moving on to the second page or the, the music page I guess you could call it which stands out straight away because of its music control icons around that center picture as well as at the top you've got your uh, sound levels for each one of say your system, your notifications, all those different levels and it looks really good as well. And finally your last screen, your social slash storage screen as it shows you how much free space you have for your external and internal memory card as well as how much free RAM you got which actually looks really good and then topping it off it's got those social icons at the top for your Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter as you can just jump to those as well and like I said it's got all those little beautiful beautiful quotes in between so this is a fantastic setup and this video tutorial will explain exactly how to recreate this. So without any, any further ado, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Okay, great. So starting out, I'm going to be using Nova Launcher for this setup. You're welcome to use Apex Launcher or even SS Launcher. And I recommend using SS Launcher if you're running Gingerbread as it'll be easy to set up and uh, the wallpaper scrolling will be able to, you can do it on SS Launcher as well without any hassle. So in order to start off, we're going to hold down on our home screen and then we're going to select the wrench at the top to get into our Nova settings. From here, we're going to go into desktop and then from here, we're going to go into our desktop grid. Now I used a 9x7, which worked well for my Nexus 4. So if you're using some other phone, try with a, a 9x7 first and then if it doesn't work, just play around, make it larger or smaller and see what, what works best for you. Next, we're going to be moving on to our margins. You want them to be none. You want your shadows to be disabled. Your home screens now, you're going to be wanting three home screens. So you go one, two, and then yeah, just make that little tick. The first one to search your first screen. You're going to go back into your settings again, back into desktop, and then carry on going. You want your label icons to be disabled. And then pretty much it, widgets overlap and overlap when placing. Not too important, there's not too, really too much widgets that need to be placed that'll be overlapped so you can leave them out, but I always just leave them on anyway. Your dock, you want that to be disabled, you do not need it. And if we go into our look and feel, if you scroll down, you wanna disable that notification bar at the top, you do not need it at all. So that is your nervous settings set up. If we go back, it should look like this with three screens. So if you have any widgets or icons, remember to drag them into the X at the top. And once that's done, we can move on to the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, very easy to do. Well, I wouldn't say really easy, but you can work it out. You're gonna go into your wallpapers now and you wanna be selecting the live wallpaper. From here, you're gonna be using, yes, that's right, multi-picture live wallpaper, and then going into your settings. From here, if you don't have three screens, you wanna select the little plus button here and you will first say two, so you go okay, and then you put it again and it'll say three and then you go okay until you have three screens like this. Now, what you wanna be doing is configuring each one of these wallpapers. So we'll start off by going into our screen one settings and then into our picture source. From here, you wanna be selecting our single picture. After it's loaded for a while, you wanna wait and select quick pick or your gallery or whatever works well. Yeah, I just go for quick pick. So next you want to find the file or the images or the wallpapers that you've copied onto your phone. So for image one, it's going to be the, well, this middle one here, the one that looks like a home icon, you're going to select that. So from there, once that's been selected, you're going to go back and then for screen two, you're going to select picture source once again, single picture once again. This time around, you're going to be selecting the one that's got the music icon in the middle. So you're going to go back again and then do it for screen three. You're going to be obviously now just selecting that final picture, the one that looks Looks like it's got files in the middle. This one over here. So select that, done, go back. Now, if, in, if you go into your common settings and you go crop resize ratio, sometimes if your wallpaper isn't fitting too well, this is 
probably the first place to start off to see what can get a better fit. So I went fit to full screen for my Nexus 4 and that seemed to work very well for me. And then finally if you scroll down to, to drawing settings you want to disable any reflections and that's it. If we just go back now and you say set wallpaper it should set it for you hopefully like this. So there and there and there those are the three screens. Now I actually had trouble setting this up. multi picture live wallpaper wasn't agreeing with me. So what I had to do was first I, I changed my launcher. I went into Apex launcher and then that worked. And then I went back into Nova launcher and it didn't work. So then I restarted my phone and changed it to a static wallpaper and then back into multi picture live wallpaper. And then it seemed to work. So yes, it is a bit of a hassle if it doesn't work, but in the end you can get it to work after a bit of trial and error. So that is your wallpapers set up. So from here, we're going to be adding in all the different widgets such as minimalistic text. Great. So starting out with our widget adding, we're going to be starting with minimalistic text. And that of course is very easy to do. You're going to hold down on your home screen. You're going to be selecting widgets. You're going to go to minimalistic text and it doesn't really matter. Well, kind of matters. Say if you want to add in something at the top corner there, I'd say go for a three by two. We're going to start off with the date time one. Just going to select back when this window pops up and you want to go into your menu at the top there, those one to three little dots and you want to go into your import. This is, going to, this is because you're going to be importing the first one, which will be your date weather. For example, you're just going to select it and then yes, do it. It's going to show you what it's going to be looking like, which is good. So you just want to select save and boom, there it is. Just like that. Very easy to add. Now, uh, what I did do is I, I took off the option so that when you select it, it'll bring up your editor. That's just so if the text is too large or too small, you can just swipe across to your layout here where you can actually see where everything's been set up and it's been using normal and accented font. Nothing special about the font, but say if you swipe now to text style, you're welcome to change the size of each one of these in there. You can see the text size just like that. So you're also welcome to change what the text says with your static text as well as the options to be added. And then finally, if you don't want, if you want to select it and not, you don't want anything to happen, you'll scroll across all the way to tap behavior. So if you want to disable action on tap, so nothing will happen when you tap it, that's the option you go for. You're also welcome to say, to say select another activity and then select an activity such as opening a clock or the calendar, whatever you want. It works really well. So once you like it the way you got it, you select your save. So nothing will happen and it's stayed like that. Perfect. Move on to the next one. So for the other two widgets at the bottom, you'll be doing the exact same thing. You're going to go back into your widgets. You're going to scroll all the way to minimalistic text. So for those, I reckon a three by one will be good. So it's going to be your clock and your battery. So for the battery, you're just going to select it. Yes, do it. It's imported. Just select save. And there it is. Remember, if you don't want to, anything to happen when you tap it, you scroll across to tap behavior, disable action on tap, save and boom. There it is. Now we're just going to be adding in the clock one at the bottom here. Great, so there is the clock added, so that's your first screen done. So your minimalistic text to be added here at the top will be your Seren sound, you'll add at the top there. And then finally your Seren storage over here will be added on this one. So I'm just going to be doing that now. So 4x1 works well for this sound levels at the top. Remember if it doesn't work, you're just going to have to hold down and select resize and then to get everything to fit in nicely. Great, so there the Serenity storage and minimalistic text preference has been added as well as the ones for here at the bottom. Now to do these, all I had to do was import the YouTube minimalistic text preference and then keep adding it except for each one of them, I just had to rename it say for movies, explorer and camera. It's really quick and simple to do so there's not much hassle involved and you're so welcome to change each one of these. Now remember to say if you want to make this open up YouTube, just select it now, scroll across all the way to tap behavior. Let's see it is over here. So you want to say start another activity, select an activity or shortcut and scroll all the way to the bottom. There we have YouTube over there. You're going to select the YouTube launcher and then you just want to go select save. Now just to double check that works, just need to select it and it brings up our YouTube. Very cool, very quick and easy. So once that's done, that's all of our minimalistic text to be added. 
So next we're going to be moving on to the UCCW at the top. Great, so for this UCCW widget, very easy to add. You just need to hold down on it, select widgets, and then you want to scroll all the way to UCCW. Yes, hope you haven't uninstalled it because of the new update, because it's still really cool. So you want to select the 2x2 or whichever, it doesn't really matter, because you just want to select UZIP now, and then find where the Serenity Notif.UZIP has been copied onto your phone you just want to import it so there it is just want to select the hand you can even re now resize it a bit hold down select resize and get it close like that now your gmail is going to be all funky donkey like that now my hotspots modes have been turned on so i just want to turn them off what that means is that if you tap your uccw skin and nothing happens that's because your edit or your lock widgets on so you just want to go into your menu lock widgets and then turn it off so once that's done you just want to select it now and it should be it should open up so there it's opened up you want to select your background which will bring up your select object menu here and you want to go into gmail one next you want to swipe your controls at the bottom like i'm doing here and you want to go to controls number five select your gmail account and then label you can go whatever it's going to go for your inbox next you want to go or first what you want to do is make sure that it looks good on the screen so if you just want to go back it's gonna do its little thing and there it is so if it's too high or too low you're welcome to go back into it try and remember what position it was because now you can go into each one of these and move them up and down accordingly just so you can get your best fit if you don't really know how to do that you're welcome to check out our UCCW tutorials at the bottom for more details so once you got it the way you like it you just want to go into your menus lock widgets and own turn that on and there it is it's gonna set it up for you so if you want to double check that it works, let's say our dialer here, the selected brings up our dialer. So really cool. Tells you if you have any missed notifications. I really like UCCW. So that is your UCCW setup. Next one you want to take note of is this one over here that brings up your different, say your Gmail or I mean, sorry, your Google Plus, your Facebook and Twitter. Now, when I started adding my icons, I found that they, they were too large. So one way to get around that is or well, you can either reduce your grid size but if you really got it perfect and you don't want to do it too much there is an alternative what i did was use super widget pro and went for a one by three now you might be thinking well why did i do that well there's a little trick that you can actually do you can just add and say random text and then assign it to different applications which is what i did here i just selected that so as you, if you go into our layouts as you can see, I added in three texts, and then the one was the G uh, Google+, Plus, Facebook, and then Twitter. Then I made the text invisible, which you can see over here. And then I assigned each one of them, say, module on tap. See, I made the Google+, Plus go to Google+. Plus. So that is kind of a cheap trick, but it works, because once you go back, and then go back again. So say I wanted to open up my Google+, Plus, I just select my Google+, Plus icon at the top like that, and it brings it up real quick and simple Twitter as well just need to select Twitter and it'll bring up the little Twitter very cool you're welcome to use UCCW but a lot of people are complaining that you can you have that little ugly little dot at the top or it makes a little um, blue square so yeah this is a quick way around it and it's very easy to do so once that's done you just our final one is our music page over here Great, so for our music page, very easy to do. You're gonna be starting off with these controllers here. You're gonna be using power, power toggles. So you wanna hold down, select widgets, and you wanna to scroll to power widgets. And there's gonna be something very important here that you might wanna to listen to as you don't wanna get this wrong. Now, as you can see, I've just selected the four by one standard here. And what I've what you wanna do is now remove each one of these like this. You just tap on them and select remove. So it'll remove all of these toggles you're gonna see why now. So there it is, one left. You're gonna be getting rid of that now as well. But first you wanna select add toggle. Now you want me, let's start off with the play pause one. So where is it? It's the play pause music there. So now you can continue to remove that one as now you just want that one to be left. So you wanna make this white now. So you wanna select button colors and make it, whoops, make it fully white and fully opaque go like that so now it's very white like that next you want to go into background full and you want it to you want it to be completely transparent like that all the way to the left hand side nearly done your button dividers you want that to be selected so you want it to be hidden so there's no divider over there so it looks really good now one thing i want you to do is to select your menu here and then say create a backup 
can call it whatever you want. I just called mine play. Very simple as once you selected it and saved it, you can do the same for, pre, uh, for the previous track and then the next track. You just need to restore it and then change your toggle and it is set up. You don't have to keep doing that. It's a little, a little bit quicker than adding them manually and removing each one of the toggles each time. So keep that in mind. Now, however, comes the most important thing is that what exactly is this going to be playing? So we're just going to select done and let's move it into the position here. Let's get it resized. There it is. Now, I tried a lot of different music players. I think for Android 4.2.2 that not all music players work with either power toggles or even widget soid, which I tried, didn't even work. So only music player that I found to be working. Please let me know if you find any others that worked and it was Player Pro. I tried now playing, I tried Next Music, tried the stock Google Music, nothing seemed to work except Player Pro. However, this one is a paid app. I think this is just a trial I've got to work. So there it is. So if you just want to test it out, see if another music one works, just need to select it. See, there it is working. So just letting you know, Player Pro will work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to try and find some other app that seems to work. So 4.2.2 users aren't very fortunate in this case. Next, you just wanna add in those final power toggles. So remember, just gonna select your power toggle now. And you can just go options here. You want to say restore backup. You want to select your play one or whatever else you called it. But now you just want to say add a toggle. So we're going to be doing it for previous track. And you just want to get rid of the first one. So it's just that one. You can select done. And just move it into a nice place. Like that. And you're going to be doing the exact same for the, sec or the next track over here. So there is all the toggles added. You can just double check. Remember, just so if you want to change it. Very cool to do just like that. So... There is our setup done, almost complete. We just need to add in our jump to icons here as well as our app draw button. So starting off with the app draw icon at the bottom, you're gonna hold down, select Nova Actions, select app draw, and there it is appeared. You wanna do it for each one of these. Just need to hold down, select Nova Actions, app draw, and one more time, hold down, Nova Actions, app draw. So that's all of them added. Now you want to make it a blank PNG or just make it invisible. You need to hold down for a little bit longer and then select edit. Select the image, select the quick pick and you want to go into your or the, or the find a place that you've copied your blank PNG onto. So uh, there, there it is there. Don't worry about what it looks like. You just want to go OK. Make sure it's blank and once it's done you want to select the tick. So there it is. Very simple to do and you just want to do that to each one of them. Great, and then finally what you want to do is add in your jump to icons. So say if you want to jump to your music page, you just want to hold down on the music icon, select Nova Actions, you want to select jump to page, and then you want to jump it, jump to page two. So you just want to make that blank again. So you want to hold down, select edit, select the image. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast, but don't want to make this video too long. And then you want to go into your blank PNG. Remember like we did for that app draw. So select the tick and to check that it works, Boom, jumps to your music page, looks really cool. So once that's done, you wanna do it for each one of these. So say you wanna get back to your home page, just select the home and it's just like that. So instead of just flipping it around, you can just select it like that and we'll do that. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is this video tutorial complete. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any uh, questions or problems, please leave them in the comment section below, as well as either liking, commenting, or subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.